Now, one of the key members of the team that solved the Chivarella mystery is just 20 years old, a college student with a passion for genealogy. And the Chivarella case was not his first cold case breakthrough. 2822 Eyewitness News I team reporter Caroline Forbeck met the determined young man today. She joins us live in the studio with more. Caroline. Nick, Candace, at the press conference this morning, 20-year-old Eric Schubert stood along Pennsylvania State Police as they announced the 57-year-old cold case was finally solved. He's a junior history student at Elizabethtown College who helped investigators track down the killer. Mr. Schubert sent me an email years ago asking if he could work on our case. For the Pennsylvania State Police, that's a little outside the box. This decision paid off. Eric Schubert has been a genealogist for half his life after seeing a commercial for an ancestry website when he was 10. It involves digging through public records, newspaper archives, and public DNA databases. He started with family trees, which developed into helping people find biological parents. Then at 18, he started working with criminal cases after a police department contacted him for help. It's all the same in the essence that you know, there, there's a question there. There's a puzzle there. After helping solve his first cold case, the pandemic hit, and Schubert was sent home from college with a lot of free time. He read about the 1964 unsolved murder of nine-year-old Maurice Chivarella in Hazleton and reached out to PSP. Back in 2007, troopers entered the DNA found in the fluids on Chivarella's clothes into their databases. That profile was checked monthly against all other criminals that had DNA in the system. A company called Parabon Nanolabs found a distant match in 2019, someone that could be perhaps a sixth cousin. That's where Schubert comes in. In his research, he traces that bloodline. It leads him to relatives with closer matches to the sample. And at the end of the day, those matches allowed me to identify the assailant uh, for the state police. The distant match was from a family in Weatherly who donated their DNA and using samples from that family, they found a match to an open homicide in 1972, which led them to James Paul Fort. You can see sometimes that puzzle come together before your own eyes. Maybe you find something that says, oh, uh, this person that you're looking at lived in the same neighborhood as the victim or um, you know, they worked down the street from the victim or that sort of thing. Though finding those circumstantial details when you're when you're working on a case are really interesting. Fort's remains were exhumed in January to obtain a DNA sample. That sample matched the DNA from the fluid on Chivarella's clothes, the final piece of the puzzle. I have no idea where you came from, young man, but you need to keep going. Thank you so much. Eric says it took him two years of research. He hopes to continue helping people through genealogy. He thanks Pennsylvania State Police for working tirelessly on this case for decades. Troopers say Fort likely has more victims and anyone with information should contact PSP Hazleton. Nick, Candace. Eric has a long and successful career, I think. Caroline, thank you.